Hi there, I'm Ellen from the Charles and Ellen Academy, and today I will show you the full process of my most recent mixed media experiment, where I use diluted acrylic paint for the December pattern of Sacre Coeur. All members of our Embroidery Academy can download the pattern throughout the month. Just click the link below this video to check it out. And if you watch this video after December, check it out. There is a new design coming every single month. There's also about 35 plus different courses included in the Academy as well, so you don't want to miss that. I usually paint with watercolor, which you may have seen in many previous videos. However, this time I wanted to paint white on a raw linen fabric to fully capture the impressive Sacre Coeur in Paris. The watercolor paint weakens in intensity as it dries and bleeds on the fabric. So that's why I decided to use acrylic paint as it's a very solid medium where you cannot see through. And this was especially important as the background would be darker than the subject itself. I still decided to dilute the paint with water to not create a too thick and stiff layer on the fabric. It also made it easier for the paint to be absorbed by the fabric when diluted with water. The first difference I noticed compared to using watercolor on fabric is how it doesn't bleed uncontrollably. Despite the water being a so-called traveling medium that soaks through the fabric, the paint never went beyond the area where I applied it. And this made it significantly easier to apply the paint in a way that I wanted and to have it stay within, quote, the boundaries. I decided to mix white and black to incorporate more depth to the image. The most white and as such the highlights of the building is in the middle of the different areas where there is, whereas there is more shade and gray close to the edges of the different parts of the, of the cathedral. It would have looked very flat if I had only used the same white for the whole piece. You may see me use some tissues in places where it became just very much paint on the stitches. This quickly soaked up some excess paint and made the stitches visible again. However, I later resorted to not care too much about the excess paint, but instead decided that it added some extra texture. All in all, it was a really fun experiment and I'm very pleased with how it came out. To paint on embroidery is not only fun, but also saves you a great deal of time if you happen to have a limited creative window. I will definitely be using more acrylic in the future too, just a heads up, don't wash a piece with acrylic paint because if you want to be able to wash it afterwards, you better use a fabric paint instead. Thank you so much for watching and don't miss to check out the link in the description to learn more about the Charles and Ellen Academy. Enjoy the rest.